death of King Dashrat after Rama Sita and Lakshman had left for the forest King Dashrat went in a deep state of shock he did not speak to anyone and just lay quietly on his bed gasping his last breath often he cried out the names of his dear sons Rama and Lakshman and his daughter in law Sita the king had realized that the curse of the blind parents of Shravan Kumar was coming true he was unable to bear the pain of separation from his dear son Rama and finally died everyone in the kingdom and the palace mourned the death of king Dashrath Bharat and Shatrughan were called in from their maternal uncle's house Kekai welcomed the princess happily and told the whole story of Rama's exile and Dashrath's death Bharat became very upset and angry Shatrughan was angry too and he hit Manthara the wicked maid she was injured and fell down on the floor the princess then met queen koshalya and tried to console her bharat was feeling himself guilty for the injustice done to rama and for the death of his father on the advice of sage vashishta bharat performed all the rituals of the funeral of his father bharat visits rama in forest After the death of Dashrath, Sage Vashishta, Kaushalya, and all the ministers asked Bharat to abide by the promise of his father and become the new king of Ayodhya. But Bharat denied. He suggested to go to the forest and meet Rama, Sita, and Lakshman. Everyone was impressed by this idea and started making preparations to go to the forest. Next morning, Bharat and Shatrughan. along with sage vashishta many other brahmins and residents of ayodhya and all queens started their journey towards chitrakoot they finally reached the ashram where rama sita and lakshman were living in the forest everyone was happy to see them rama became sad on hearing the news of his father's death kekai was regretful for her misdeed Everyone stayed in the forest for a few days. Then Rama told Bharat that they should follow the orders of their father. He asked everyone to return to Ayodhya. Bharat took Rama's wooden sandals and everyone returned to Ayodhya. Bharat put Rama's sandals on the throne and began to rule the kingdom. But now he lived in a small hut wearing simple clothes. just as his elder brother rama lived in chitrakoot rama and the crow once sita and rama were having their sweet times on chitrakoot mountain rama was making beautiful ornaments for his wife sita using flowers just then jayanta the son of indra decided to test the power of rama He took the form of a crow and approached Sita repeatedly but she drove the bird away with a lump of mud again after some time the crow approached Sita and rashly attacked her causing an injury on her toe out of pain Sita cried out loudly Rama was enraged and plucked out a blade of grass and charged it with a mantra the blade became Brahma missile and chased the crow the crow roamed all about the regions seeking shelter and protection from rama's arrow everybody including his father great seers and others refused to stand by against rama's missile the crow being disappointed and tired helplessly sought shelter and protection falling at the feet of rama only rama pardoned the crow but its right eye was hit by the missile thus rama spared the crow's life as a rule the lord's missile never turn futile the crow returned happily to its abode thanking rama and his father dashrath rama went to panchvati after spending many days on chitrakoot mountain Rama, Lakshman 
and Sita decided to move to some other forest. So they started their journey and went to meet Sage Atri and his wife Anusuya. The couple welcomed their new guests wholeheartedly and offered them many fruits, tubers, roots and sprouts. After spending some time with them, the three of them moved again. Many sages and saints accompanied them. On their way, they encountered many demons and Rama killed them all in no time. After covering some distance, they saw a huge pile of bones. A sage told Rama that those were the bones of many sages who were killed by demons. Rama was sad to hear this. He promised to kill all the demons and make earth a safe place to live in. Then they met Sage Agastya and his student Sage Sutishna. Sage Agastya suggested them to go to Panchvati in Dandaka forest. Rama, Lakshman and Sita along with the other sages reached Panchvati and met Jatayu, the king of vultures. Rama and Jatayu became very good friends. Rama saw a nice place at the banks of river Godavari and they started living there happily in a cottage made of leaves and grass. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.